And we now go live to our correspondent Simon Young in Winnenden. Simon, two days after the shootings, the wounds are still very raw there, aren't they? They certainly are, Amrita. The focus here now uh, is on the grieving, uh, the bereaved and the traumatised here. There are many counsellors and psychiatric uh, professionals here in position offering uh, their support uh, to people here. That's clearly needed, as we can see from the many people who've come down here to the school again today, which has become a sort of central memorial, people leaving their cards, many of them asking why. On one, one of the cards I saw, uh, the words written, did the killer really know why he did this? And also uh, members of the former classmates of the gunman himself uh, who wrote, this was not the Tim that we knew. The focus here uh, is on not just the school children, also the parents uh, and also of course the police officers who've also suffered they've seen uh, very disturbing scenes shocking scenes uh, in the school behind me and in one particularly tragic case uh, we've heard of an officer who when he arrived here on Wednesday went into the school to find uh, his own wife a teacher at the Albertville school uh, among the dead Oh, terrible. Now, Simon, as we heard in our report, there's still a lack of certainty about the internet claim allegedly made by the killer. How important is that for the police investigation? Well, I think uh, the police want to know uh, how uh, authentic this uh, internet message was. They're still examining uh, Tim's home computer. They're also trying to get the information uh, from the internet uh, uh, operation in the United States where this chat room uh, was hosted. They want to know, of course, if that message was genuine. If it turns out to be a fake, the questions will be, uh, why did they believe it at first? And why would anyone uh, lie to the police uh, about something like this? It's not central, of course, to our image of who this gunman was. We know that he was a disturbed man, he was being treated for uh, clinical depression and that he grew up in an atmosphere, a household where there were many guns uh, and those I think are the key facts in the background to this tragedy. Right, Simon Young in Binnenden, thank you very much for that.